Hello everyone, welcome back to another Whistle 101 video. Um, today I'm doing another tier list because you guys just seem to really like it. Like, I upload a Let's Play series video and then it gets like 80 views in 24 hours, right? And then I upload a tier list video and it gets 500 in like 10. So it just kind of shows me the difference. So you guys seem to like these. So maybe I'll shift my content more towards tier list slash top videos. Also more guide videos, stuff like that than, you know, my other videos. I don't know. We'll see. But today we're doing the lore master spells uh, and the slash crafted spells. I have, I do have a crafting guide for every single one of these. So, well, not every single one of these, most of these. So go check that out if you want to know how to craft any of these otherwise uh sit and enjoy the show of my uh thing um i really need to start adding these rows like prior to the video but i just can't be bothered so there we go that's better no scroll down a bit there we go that is there we're ranking them s through f uh as usual and um we are going to be definitely sorting these by how much i like them or hate them now um lore master spells are a pretty mixed bag for me some of them are good some of them aren't there are also some on here that are not lore master spells they're dropped by other things but i digress let's get into it uh first on our list angry snow pigs and this is funny because this in my opinion is literally the worst lore master spell of all time so i'm just gonna immediately put that into f tier and leave it there because that's where it deserves to be brimstone revenant isn't bad four pips for decent damage 470 is decent damage plus a 25 trap isn't that bad at all um it's actually one of my more well light spells in regards to these so i'll put that at b potentially at a a somewhere in there not a bad spell at all i don't have it on my fire but it wouldn't be that bad to have burning rampage you actually don't get from lore master you get from lambent fire and avalon in the crystal caves um i have never liked this spell i think that it's pretty bad it's not as bad as angry snow pigs but it's just kind of bad so i'll put it at e tier B decently eh catalan for storm i've never liked catalan either five pips for 700 damage and a accuracy debuff just doesn't make sense for storm it just isn't that good for storm because storm has triton tier six which does more damage and then stormzilla tier five does almost equal damage to it if not a little bit better i think so catalan is a meh for me and it's not even really worth it in pvp because i feel like it's just not the best like an accuracy debuff isn't even that good especially not a minus 25 one so i will put that at e as well with burning uh rampage i probably wouldn't use either of those really in combat but it's not as bad as angry snow pigs which just doesn't do damage and it steals a shield like okay where where are you going to use that where is this going to come in handy i don't know i'm sorry for always shitting on ice wizards you guys just don't have good spells i'm sorry um Next, we have uh, Catch of the Day, which is, in my opinion, not a bad spell. It does semi, it doesn't do as much damage as Catalan for five pips, but it has the minus uh, remove two charms, which could be useful in PvP. I could see how that would be useful. In PvE, maybe not so much, unless you're against a boss that's like a cheating charm kind of thing. So I'll put that at C tier, maybe even D tier. Uh, I'll put it at D tier. It's not really that good for me. Um, I've never found it to be too good. Uh, this tier list, by the way, will be controversial, but I don't really care. Uh, next is Deer Knight. Now, in my last video on AoE spells, I ranked it as a B tier because it's just not as good as Ship of Fools, which is true. But this is based on Lore Master spells. So in regards to Lore Master spells, it's definitely an S tier. It's one of the better Lore Master spells, especially for death. And it does give death an AoE spell at a decently low level they can get it. So, hey, that's good. Um, Goat Monk, I have actually always had a soft spot for Goat Monk. It's not like anything special. It is definitely a solid card. Five pips for 440 to 520 damage isn't bad damage at all for, for life. Uh, but you probably wouldn't use it too much after a certain level. Because it has no secondary effects. So, I'll put it at a B tier. Uh, it's 
to me it's similar of uh brimstone revenant it's like kind of good meh um grendel's amends isn't really the best spell but i do have a soft spot for it because i do like the fact that it has gives myth an option to heal so i will put that in a it's probably not the best if it was a four pip spell it would definitely be like an a slash s tier but i'm probably giving it a little bit too much leniency and my bias for myth is showing strongly i definitely think it's an a tier slash b tier um hammer thor i've never thought is very useful it removes a charm and then does 470 damage that's not very good at all the accuracy is five percent less than most storm spells and it's five pips if it was four pips okay but it's five pips so i'll probably put that along with catalan maybe even put it in f tier I, I, you know i will put it in f tier because i don't see a use for it my storm will never use it um and i have it on my storm so i would never use it um handsome Fomori isn't too bad in regards to an ice spell it's kind of meh five pips i've never really liked five pip spells um but the accuracy debuff is okay it's a meh thing for me i'll put it at a solid c tier it's like not the best spell not the worst spell ever uh and i think that that kind of is where it should go like kind of in the middle uh headless horseman is a really good spell it does quite a bit of damage for four pips i would put that at a solid a tier maybe even s tier um i've seen you see a lot of deaths using it on when they're solo attacking enemies because it just does a lot of damage like that that is a lot of damage for four pips does more than vampire more than most other things so that's solid for me i like it uh keeper of the flame i have always liked this spell as well it's very similar to brimstone revenant i just think it's a little bit too weak it's 400 damage if it was like 450 damage it might be b tier but instead i'll put it at c tier as a myth you're probably not going to use it all that much krampus is good for the accuracy debuff good in pvp personally i have never used it and i never found used for it but i can understand how it's good in pvp which is why i would put it in c um if we're talking about pve and just me in general i'd probably put it closer to e because i just don't like it i don't think it's that useful but c is fine um also if you're wondering why winter tusk music is in the background i just wanted something to listen to and so we're listening to winter tusk music anyways um lord of the night is just an awful spell in general and i i say that for one reason and one reason alone is that it's barely better than vampire and it's at five pips if it was four pips sure if it was five pips and did like 600 for 500 something damage like in between wraith and vampire sure but it does 440 which in my opinion makes it one of the worst spells you can get um i'd probably put it on level with catalan burning rampage stuff like that it's not as bad as angry snow pigs angry snow pigs is just worthless um and hammer thor i've just never liked so i i definitely think it fits there um lore master this is actually the old version of lore master ignore the damage the new version of lore master does less damage and gives a minus 15 or is it a minus 20 it's a minus 25 weakness and then a minus 15 accuracy debuff so not awful especially at lower tier pvp which is again why i'd put it at c with krampus i can understand the pvp benefits but personally i don't find it to be that good of a spell um it could go in a b actually but the damage with the damage reduction i would put it at c without it it's definitely a b because it does not do 390 to 470 anymore i don't think i think it does like 300 now uh luminous weaver i've actually always liked this spell as well it's a really it, it's a good life spell 370 damage flat isn't bad so i'll put that at a solid b it's not bad at all i think it's a decent spell and it looks cool so why not ninja piglets oh i have such mixed feelings on this spell um in my opinion there is no reason for a balance to use it um it's just the fact that it's sandstorm is a lot better if you want a four pip thing to hit enemies you could just use spectral blast and do more damage um you know it's just to me it feels a lot of, uh, very useless i guess it's similar to headless horseman where you could use it but i've never seen it used in that way so i'd put it at d tier personally that could be controversial but i just don't see it to be very useful ninja pigs this is decent damage for five pips um as a myth i could see you using this even into the late game because it does do a lot of damage for five pips that does like elephant level damage which is six pips fire so 
I'll put that at a solid B tier. It's definitely not a bad spell. It's definitely like a decent spell, especially for myth. And it's one of the oldest myth spells, which is pretty cool. Um, Pigsy and Ratatoskir spin. I, 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 I won't talk about them at the same time. Pigsy is a solid S tier. Four pip heal all. It's basically a better unicorn for 550. 550 is a lot of health, especially if uh, the people receiving the healing has incoming and if the life has outgoing. So solid S tier, definitely useful. Um, Ratatosker spin another S tier. Um, a hit, four pip hit all for life is fantastic. It, it's been needed in the game for the longest time. And along with Ship of Fools, it's one of my favorite hit all spells now. I don't know if it's just because it's newer and fresher or what, but I really do like it. I like the design and I also like the fact that it hits all four enemies at the same time. So that's a solid S tier. Life gets two of the best spells for Lower Master on this list. Reindeer Knight. Now, I got a few questions in my previous um, AoE spell video why I put Reindeer Knight below Deer Knight. The reason for that is basically because Death does not have an easily accessible 4 pip hit all spell while Ice does. So basically what I'm saying is, is Deer Knight is good because Death doesn't have many other low pip hit all spells. Ice has Blizzard which is just objectively better. It does like the same amount of damage, except it costs four pips, which you won't get five pips first round until Chrysalis, and even not out through most of Chrysalis. Also, the animation takes forever. So for me, Reindeer Knight is significantly lower than Deer Knight. It's like a C tier because I just don't see it being useful. My ice would never use it. Now, that's not to say it's not useful for an ice. I just... I guess it's just not useful for me. I just don't like it. Um, I forget what this is called. This is called Sacred Charge. This is from, you get this from Aphrodite, I believe. Um, five pip life spell does 500 damage and absorbs 250 damage. That's not bad at all. That has a practical use in both PvP and not PV, PvP. Um, or PvE specifically is what I mean. And I would put that as solid A tier card. It's not a bad tier. It's not a card. It's not... Sorry, I had a stroke. It's not a bad card. I think it's pretty good. It's not a bad spell. I've seen it used before, and it does decent damage. So I would put it in A tier. It kind of makes sense if you think about it based on the rest of the life spells. Life has a lot of high spells, by the way. They have S, A, and B. There's nothing below that for life. But you can see Goat Monk. It does more damage than Goat Monk and the Absorb. It does more damage than Lu Luminous Weaver by a significant degree with the Absorb, but it isn't as useful as Pigsy and Ratatoskir Spin. So I think that that's solid for me in regards to, you know, just that in general. Samurai, I have another soft spot for. I've always liked the spell. Um, I would, it's similar to Goat Monk Ninja Pigs. It, it, Goat Monk and Ninja Pigs. It came out at the same time. It does decent damage for five pips, which I think is useful for all of these schools because myth doesn't really have a good five pip spell because they have minotaur which isn't that bad but i digress life doesn't have a good five pip spell and um balance doesn't have a good five pip spell so if you just take those i would say that they're all solid b tier cars you could use them uh mid to late game even which isn't that bad um savage paw i've never found to be that good 500 and a blade for next thing eh it's like similar to most of C tier for me where it's not bad, but it's not that good either. It's just kind of in the middle. It's like, mm, I don't really care about it. Um, Winter Moon, I'm, I'm satisfying my ice audience here as I'm going to put it into B tier. Now, obviously, that's not that satisfying. Oh, Celestia music. Nice. Because ice does not have a spell higher than B tier. But in my opinion, Winter Moon is definitely better because as that stun which is good for like, and semi-decent damage for five pips. Um, I would think a lot of these spells would really help if they were moved down to four pips. Like if Goat Monk was moved down to four pips, it would probably be a whole tier higher. If Winter Moon was down to four pips, it would be a whole tier higher. If Lord of Night was down to four pips, it would be like two tiers higher. So I'm just thinking it's just kind of meh. Ninja Piglets for me can't really be fixed. It's more like, uh, I just don't think it's that useful for a balance, in my opinion. Um, but even Ninja Piglets could potentially be a C tier. Um, if it did a little bit more damage. Eh, it already does a lot of damage, actually. 
if it did like head headless horseman level damages i would probably put it a tier higher but as it is meh so that's my lore master spell list if i missed any spells like i did last time let me know in the comments and i'll let you know what i think about them um if you disagree with anything harshly let me know as well um why is this music so quiet i don't know but if you disagree with anything let me know if you really agree with something let me know as well um and i'll see you in the next video let me know what you want me to tier list if you do want me to um i saw someone say favorite enemy npcs there's not a tier list for that on tier list maker so i'd have to make my own so let me know what you guys think of that idea i will make my own if you guys want it so uh yeah see you then have a fantastic day thank you all for watching